What's up everyone, Sean here from Krypton Cause Investing to talk about Squid Grow today. So I'm not gonna do a review of Squid Grow and go over tokenomics and all that stuff because pretty much at this point, everyone in DeFi knows what Squid Grow is. This is just my first time doing a video on it. It's a crypto that I've been following for a while. You know, I'm buddies with um, Squid Grow Joe. He's a partner in all of our projects and our call channel. Um, so it's it's obviously a project that I follow. So I figured I'd go ahead and start making updates on it and um, see where everything changes, give my opinions on it. Uh, but first thing I want to say about Squid Grow and what attracted me to Squid Grow is that all your DeFi projects start, they promise this, they promise that, they never actually go through on any of those promises. Well, Squid Grow is different. They basically do everything they say and they do it in a timely manner. So in DeFi, that's kind of a rare thing to find when you find a project that is actually going for it and they do what they say and they mean what they say. I mean, just for example, everyone likes to ask the question, when exchange? Well, here you go. I mean, they're, they're constantly getting on exchanges. They're developing utility. Overall, it's a project along with a couple other projects in DeFi that I really like that I think in the next bull run will just absolutely explode. Their CEO, Subtoshi, um, I know he's not Docs. I've never actually talked to him or know him personally, but Squid Grow Joe does, who I talk to on a regular basis. So if Squid Grow Joe loves him, then so do I. But let's kind of look at a couple other things. Let's hop over to CoinMarketCrab.com. I guess apparently it is now. But um, one of the biggest things about any crypto that we all know is the community. At the end of the day, utilities are awesome. All that stuff's good, but you have to have a huge community. Safe Moon exploded because of the community. Squid Grow exploded because of the community. I mean, you come over to CoinMarketCap.com, and they are on 10,162 watch lists, which is, which is crazy. That's a lot of people watching it. Same thing, come over to CoinGecko. Same thing, even more over here. So they're on 18,887 watch lists, <laughs> excuse me, which is crazy. So again, that's where it all starts. It starts with a community, which they already have that built-in community that they've developed, followed by utility and all your different things that actually keep it going, create revenue, and just keeps the keeps the train moving. But let's come over to an update and see what's going on. It's on medium.com. Squid Grow is coming back to medium after a long hiatus and will continue to provide more frequent updates here for your convenience. So let's start with the current state of affairs at Squid Grow. As you know, we do not do roadmaps and timelines as there are always unforeseen events that can throw off timing of certain releases such as development time or macro conditions. So what I love about that is that we are so consumed with the roadmaps and we need to know this and we need to know that that all your projects that come out, they put out a roadmap because that's what they know people want to see. They they put stuff on there that they know that they're never going to do. But in order to get people to buy on that initial launch day, which is when 99% of the volume comes in for most DeFi projects, they have to have that roadmap. So I like, I like not having the roadmap and going that direction because you always want to um, under promise and over deliver, which kind of, you know, is what um, Squid Grow does. You know, I have multiple projects and delivering on time in crypto honestly is next to impossible. So not promising dates is actually a very, very smart move. Let's continue reading. Shiptoshi and crew are hard at work ensuring all the following utilities are developed properly and audited heavily to be as secure as possible. But in the meantime, let's dive into these major rollouts Squid Grow holders are looking forward to at this point in time. The ETH ILO and supply launch. It has been a long time coming, but Squid Grow is about to become multi chain with this launch onto the ETH side. To achieve this, Squid Grow will launch an initial li liquidity offering on its website, main home Squid Grow. When this goes live, investors will be able to privately purchase Squid Grow ETH tokens prior to its launching on Uniswap and receiving a slight bonus for doing so. So, going over to ETH is actually a huge deal. The more change you can get on, the better. They are cert certain people that only like to like to operate on Binance. There are certain people that only like to operate on ETH. And some of those people may not co-mingle. So they're on Ethereum and they're not coming over to Binance and vice versa. And same thing with the other chains, be it Kronos or whoever. So getting on as many chains as possible helps you grow your brand and bring more and more investors in. 
At this time, prior to the ETH supply launch, BSC holders will also have a chance to swap their BSC tokens for ETH tokens should they choose to do so with an added token bonus as well, So, which I think is a pretty cool incentive. BSC ETH bridge. As soon as the BSC and ETH tokens price to stabilize, the bridge will go live. This bridge will allow holders to transfer back and forth between the two blockchains at ease, which in theory will also help keep the price balance going forward. So I like basically an arbitrage opportunity where you're allowed to hop from chain to chain, um, especially as they grow and you have more options to go from one chain to another chain and, you know, even more change. So imagine ETH utilities. For the past several months on BSC, Squid Grow has had its own swap as well as staking pools and liquidity forming with generous APR percentages. It is worth mentioning that at this time of writing, over 50 per 53% of the BSC supply is staked by investors. At the same time, Squid Grow goes live onto ETH. The same fully audited utilities will be available to ETH holders. The swap known as SGS will also be reworked and be much more efficient and attractive to, to you. So again, very awesome. They're launching on the ETH side with basically the same utilities on the BSC side. Again, something that you don't see happen. So many projects just launch because they want to take that initial pump and run. The fact that they release utility and now are even releasing utilities at launches is just absolutely amazing and one of the reasons why you have to love Squid Grow. So now we have the NFT marketplace. Squid Girl will have its own custom developed NFT marketplace. It will be rich in features with the intent of having many projects in the space wanting to showcase and sell their own NFTs. The team will be launching the first NFT collection shortly after this goes live. Mike Miller's custom NFTs. For those who don't know yet, Satoshi has partnered with the legendary artist Mike Miller, famous for his work with DC, Marvel, and Game of Thrones. Yeah, if you've ever been around any of those things, you've definitely, definitely seen Mike Miller's work. Mike Miller has readied a custom NFT collection available to men on both BSC and ETH that will launch on the new NFT marketplace. Note, at this current time, 100 ultra rare rares from these 10,000 NFTs are holding another NFT, where lucky investors can actually mint that valuable NFT as a bonus. This collection will be marketed heavily and have a ton of hype around it. Be sure to stay tuned for updates as NFC, NFT season approaches. So I'm not the biggest NFT fan. I currently hold no NFTs. I honestly just haven't got on that train yet, but I do think that it's really good that they do have their NFT market that's going to be up and running because it does have its place in crypto. So many people love um, NFTs, so you kind of have to you know, stay with it. And um, yeah, having an NFT marketplace is a good thing. Um, SGX, flagship utility. SGX has been under development since the very beginning. This is our very own full feature perpetual exchange. Users will be able to trade BTC and OIC altcoin perpetuals while retaining their own keys at the DeFi level. Shiptoshi has stated that SGX will have its own liquidity pools and unlike other known decentralized perpetual exchanges that run into problems with liquidity availability, liquidity will not be an issue for SGX. One of the most attractive features for Squid Girl holders regarding SGX is that a percentage of the profits from SGX will flow back into the Squid Girl charts as buybacks and liquidity. More juicy, juicy details to follow as this gets closer to launch. So again, something that I love. So many DeFi projects launch as a straight Ponzi scheme. I love projects that can make revenue and put that revenue back into their project. Again, something why I love Squid Grow. They're just doing everything right. Basically, when you come into a um, project, there's always the win CMC, win exchange, win this, win that. Well, Squid Grow actually does and accomplishes all those wins. Squid Grow Absorption. Last but not least, Squid Grow's name now has a deeper purpose. Shiptoshi plans on absorbing many other projects in the coming months to help expedite project growth. There will be a follow-up article detailed this shortly. So let's hop over to that article. Okay, in the traditional markets, it is quite common to see acquisition and mergers between companies. So common, in fact, there is a strict process as far as what shareholders, regulators, and companies must go through to process these events. After things are all said and done with these types of deals, from a shareholder's perspective, the odds show that shareholders from both companies will benefit financially in most cases. 
Additionally, you see these events in the cryptocurrency sector as a large exchange partner with different entities and partnerships are commonly forged between projects to help facilitate mutual growth. But one thing you do not typically see is a crypto project at the DeFi level merging into another while both are live. Sure, relaunches and migrations are common, but what about other communities joining into one singular community to form a larger one? This notion of projects merging into one super project that continues to grow larger and larger over time like a giant squid is something that this sector of the cryptocurrency world has not seen yet this brings us to our newest utility code names code name sam this bold concept has the potential to be a true fast track to rapid growth as projects join forces squid girl will increase its community holders liquidity and sometimes even utility or staff through this process additionally it will provide an opportunity for those that join us to become part of something truly special so what does this look like exactly? One party agrees to join forces with Squid Girl. Shortly after this point, a snapshot is taken and liquidity is extracted from the project that is becoming part of Squid Girl. Based on the project's liquidity, calculations are done to determine the amount of tokens that will be airdropped to the new Squid Girl holders. This liquidity will then create a series of large buys and our LP pairings on the Squid Girl chart. Holders from the Respective projects are then airdrop tokens relative to their liquidity size and then become part of the Squid Girl community. As an example, we have already executed this process with the rest of finance and were successfully able to bring them into our community to the benefit of their holders who have provided some feedback. As an investor in this space for a long time, I totally understand how it is hard for projects to survive and sustain in tough market condition. Versa team being aware of this and making a quick decision about getting acquired by Squid Grow was the best course in my opinion. The way Squid Grow's team handled the acquisition was one of the easiest transactions for me. No Versa investor had to do anything at all. No smart contract calls, etc. We just held on to our Versa tokens and boom, Squid Grow tokens in our bag and it's already grown in value since the airdrop. Very happy with both Squid Grow and Versa team. To describe the whole Squid Grow acquisition of Versa, all I have to do is say with complete transparency, total protection for Versa investors and a 100% fair deal, Crypto Sam. This is a movement Shiptoshi aims to pioneer over time that will give stark meaning to the brand name Squid Grow. It is a movement or perhaps even what may become a trend that only big players with a grand vision and capital will be able to accomplish. With the apex of X factors um, at the helm, Satoshi Squid Grow is more than capable of making this reality. Note, this is open to all projects of all sizes, big or small. We consistently be on the hunt for all projects to join us on our rise to the top. If you know any, please reach out um, to one of our admins and they give you the information to be able to reach out. As Squid Grow begins on this path, it is sure to make waves and turn heads across the space as the legend grows with each acquisition. Stay tuned to see the Squid Grow absorption machine come to fruition. So this is very awesome. They're not the only project to do this. There are another project or two that I know that does do this. And um, while it is awesome because it gets holders over to a project that is obviously has its stuff together and is looking to grow, the holders aren't fully made whole. So what happens is when you buy into a project, let's say the project raises a hundred thousand, they might only put 25k or 50k into that LP and use the other money for marketing or whatnot. So that money at this point with a project that's looking to get absorbed is completely gone. So basically when a project absorbs another, they're just going to take, let's say, 25000 of that 100000 that's in the LP because they can't just create money out of nowhere. They can't take 100000 and make a buy. They can only buy with what's in the LP. So let's say there's twenty five k into the LP. That'll get divided by their current holders, and then that's how they will be given their squid grow. So they won't get as big of a bag or hold as big of a percent in squid grow as they did in the previous project. Because that there's just not enough money there. And this isn't Squid Grow's fault. What Squid Grow is doing is awesome because these holders can just be left to die and get nothing. But just keep in mind that when this does happen, that you won't be, you might have been a whale in the previous project and you probably won't be when Squid Grow does absorb it. So just kind of keep that in mind that um that that's kind of how it works but again from squid um gross perspective it's an awesome thing because a lot of these holders would get basically rug pulled or just the project would just be dead and they would lose everything anyway so it's a really good thing i really love it i will be on the lookout for any projects i have a lot of connections in DeFi that are looking to call it quits or get out and i will definitely pass that information but if you haven't done so go ahead and like and subscribe to our channels 
We do token reviews. We do daily updates. We do top crypto headlines. We do how-to videos. We uh, we do a section called Decoding DeFi, which your very own Squid Grow Joe was our very first guest, talking basically the rise and the fall of SafeMoon. It was awesome. I will um, link it at the end of this video if you want to go check that out. But like I said, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until the next one, trade safe.